こんにちは。Hello everyone, I'm Hoko. This time I'll introduce you to Yosa Buson. Buson is one of the four great haiku masters in Japan, along with Basho, Issa, and Shiki. What is noteworthy about Buson is that he is not only a great haiku master, but also a great painter. From his young days, he studied very hard haiku as well as Japanese classics, Chinese poetry, Chinese writing, and painting. He traveled for more than 50 years as a Buddhist monk. In his mid 40s, deciding to make a living in painting, he finished a life as a monk, married, and settled down in the capital city of Kyoto. In his 50s, his status was established as a great painter and a haiku master. He became one of the central figures in the graceful culture of the capital. Although I'll show you some of his paintings, I'll focus on his haiku in the last part. His haiku reflects his learning and experiences. Some haiku are sketching nature as a beautiful scenery. Some haiku come from Japanese classics, his imagination, and so on. Using a variety of techniques, He creates beauty out of the ordinary things. I would call him a multi talented artist seeking beauty in the commonplace. I hope you'll enjoy his work. 22 years after Basho's death, Buson was born in 1716 as a village of Kema, a suburb of present Osaka. There is no record of his childhood. Buson himself never told anyone about his young days in Kema. It is said that his father was a powerful man in the village and his mother was a maid, and he lost his parents and his land estate when he was a teenager. His childhood life is a mystery, but it seemed to be true that he grew up in an environment where he was well educated. At the age of 20, he went to Edo, now Tokyo, and the following year he began to stay with the haiku master as a living disciple. The house was located in Nihonbashi, the central Tokyo. Today, a stone monument stands showing its spot. His master was a grand disciple of Basho, the greatest haiku master. At that time, Haiku had become popular but vulgar. His master was the only one who followed Basho's teachings. Buson had respected Basho, and under the master, his respect for Basho deepened even further. His master was active as a haiku poet in Edo and Kyoto and organized his own haiku school. At the age of 22, His name appears in a record of a haiku school. From the very beginning, he was ambitious not only in haiku but also in painting. His master highly appreciated his abilities and treated Buson as his chief assistant. Buson spent his days in improving his haiku and learning painting by himself. He also studied very hard Japanese classics. Chinese poetry, writing, and painting. He often attended lectures by the poet painter. When he was 27, his master passed away. Buson spent the next 10 years traveling around Edo, training in haiku and painting. In the meantime, he shaved his head and became a Buddhist monk. He compiled the first haiku collections. And began to use his new pen name, Buson. Buson spent time together with his haiku fellow at one temple. When his fellow passed away, Buson wrote a long poem to mourn his death. In later times, 
It was considered a new style of poetry and became famous. The poem monument stands as a temple. Following in the footsteps of Basho, he made a trip to northeastern region of Japan. He wrote haiku as a spot where Basho had written haiku. Basho's haiku Tai Chimai Uete Tachi Saru Yanagi Kana A patch of rice planting a living only the willow. Buson's haiku Yanagi Chidi Shimizu Kareishi Tokoro Dokoro Willow leaves fallen The clear water gone dry Stones here and there at the age of 36, Buson traveled to Kyoto, the then capital city of Japan. After staying there for a while, he moved to Tango Province, a seacoast district in the north of the capital. He spent most of his three years at one temple practicing haiku and painting. Gradually, he was able to earn money by selling his paintings. Deciding to make a living as a painter, he returned to the capital. He finished the life as a monk and married at the age of 45. Soon, he had a daughter. He began to write under the family name of Yosa. It is said that he took this name from his mother's birthplace. Yosa was part of Tango province. By the time he was in his fifties, he had become a popular painter. One year, he was a fifth in the ranking of painters. The first place was Suigetsu. Today, there are less than ten of his works left. The second place was Okyo. He was a master of sketching and was the first painter to characterize a dog and paint a legless ghost. The third place was Jakchu. His colorful paintings of chicken are famous. The fourth place was Tiger. He collaborated with Buson 20 paintings, and each of them painted 10 works. Buson and his hike friends visited Kagawa Prefecture in Shikoku Island and stayed there for three years to hold haiku gatherings and draw pictures for selling. One of his paintings is still at the temple. He painted a cycad tree in its garden. Buson was already a popular haiku poet. At the haiku gatherings, participants would compose haiku on the spot for a given seasonal topic. Haiku gathering was an effective way to expand a network of people. Many haiku poets who learned haiku from the same master as Busons were active those days. At the request of those poets, Buson took over his late master's school at the age of 55. His status as a haiku master was established. He had many disciples and held lots of haiku gatherings. There was a special house called Sumiya in the capital, where the women entertained the wealthy guests with their cultural skills. Sumiya was also used as a salon for famous people in the various fields to gather. Besides holding haiku gatherings, Busan taught haiku to women working there. Sumiya is now open to the public as a museum. Buson was one of the central figures in the graceful culture of the capital at that time. Buson was a lifelong admirer of Basho and worked hard to revive Basho's teachings. One temple in Kyoto had a hermitage where Basho is said to have stayed, but it had fallen into ruin. So. When Buson was 60 years old, he collected money with his disciples to rebuild it and erected the monument. The temple was a scenic spot and Buson liked it. He wrote haiku there. Ware mo shishite, hini hotori sen, kare When I die, 
May I be by the monument withered pampas grass. When he was 68, he became ill and fell into a critical condition. On his last day, he woke up after two days of unconsciousness and told his disciples to write down his three haiku. Then he fell unconscious again and passed away while his wife, daughter, and disciples looked on. As he had wished, his body was buried near Basho's hermitage. His last haiku, Shirau me ni akuru yo bakari to nari ni keri. What remains to me on the night about to break into dawn in white brown blossoms? After his death, Busan was forgotten for more than 100 years. In the late 19th and early 20th centuries, the two men put him on the spotlight. One is Shiki, one of the four great haiku masters. Shiki advocated, sketching the subject is a principle for writing haiku and highly praised Busan's haiku as good examples. Shiki thought Busan's haiku evoked objective and picturesque scenes. To Shiki, Busan was more highly regarded than Basho. The other was the poet who is known as the father of modern Japanese poetry. He wrote a book and appreciated Busan's haiku for their nostalgic and romantic nature that makes people miss their hometowns. Currently, schools in Japan teach Busan's haiku. Nanohana ya, tsuki wa higashi ni, hiwa nishi ni. Feed of red flowers, the moon in the east, the sun in the west. Haru no umi, hinemosu no tari, no tari kana. The spring sea, all day long, back and forth, back and forth. Ikanobori, kino no sora no aridokoro. A kite floats at the same place in the sky where it did yesterday. Uguisu no naku ya chii saki kuchi ya itte. A bush wobro singing its tiny mouth open. Natsukawa wo kosu ureshi sa yo te ni zori. A summer river, the joy of crossing with straw sandals in hand. Botan chiri te uchi kasa nari inu ni sanben. A peony flower has fallen, two or three petals are lying one another. Sami dare ya Taiga o mae ni ie niken. Early summer rain facing a big river, two houses. Yu kaze ya mizu aosagi no hagi wo utsu. Evening breeze, water wraps the grey heron's legs. Tsuki tenshin, mazushiki machi o tori keri. The high moon passing through a poor town. Yama wa kurete no wa tasogare no tsuzuki kana. The sun setting over the mountains, golden fields, silver pampas grass. Nebuka kote kareki no naka o kaeri keri. Buying leaks and walking home through the bare trees. Thank you for watching.